the training that she's had. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start out talking a little bit about manners. Most of her manners are not placed on command. Most of them are simply behaviors that she's been taught. So um, examples of that are she's been taught to be very, very gentle with her teeth, um, have a soft mouth. We've taught her to stay down on all fours when they're around us and not to be jumping up on us. Um, we've taught her to automatically sit for greetings. So when she approaches me, when we make eye contact, I just kind of want her default behavior to be that she sits. Um, there you go, good girl. And she's done really well. And some of her, um, like her mealtime manner, she's expected to hold a sit stay. And this is something that you can do really easily since you're feeding her twice a day every day. Um, anyway, go ahead and, and lengthen that stay that she has with her food. Stay. Okay. Good girl. Okay is the release word. Good girl. Stay, crate, drop it, watch me, and go to bed. Good girl. Oh. Come. Sit. There's three hand signals. She knows. The first is a sit. Little scoop up over the over the nose, just like that. The next is a stay. I'm going to get her turned around here a little bit. There we go. Stay is just presenting your palm to her, hand flat, just like that. Stay. Okay. Good girl. The third hand signal is down. When I do down, I start her in a sit. And I make my hand flat like this, and I've got a treat tucked in there. And I lower my hand to the floor. Stay. Okay. Good girl. She's got a nice, long, 20 or 30 second down stay and sit stay. She's doing really well. And that's really good for a puppy stay. You know, puppies um, have a very short attention span. They have a hard time holding those stays. So you want to make sure you keep building on that so that she can do a nice um, hour or two hour long stay by the time she has her first birthday. Good girl. Great. Okay,
when she just goes to her bed on her own and lays down so that that it's really rewarding for her to be there and she's kind of drawn to go to her bed a lot. So, um, let's see. So we did come, sit, stay, down, down, stay, stay, let's do drop it. So being a retriever, she loves to retrieve. Good girl. You want her to bring it to your hand. Good girl. There you go. Here, let's do it one time. And release it on command. Drop it. Good girl. Yeah. And you can go ahead and use a treat for that. She does really well with and without a treat for dropping it. Um, next, I want to show you watch me. Now, watch me is one of those really, really important commands. And we use it in place of their name just because we use their name so often. And it's not always handy to have a reward handy when we use their name. So if you ever call your puppy by her name and she doesn't come, you don't want it to be a big crisis. But you do want to have a command that is a crisis if she doesn't if she doesn't follow through on. So it's something that you can practice several times a day. Always have a reward. Um, and all you're looking for is eye contact. You want her to break her attention on whatever she's looking at and give you her eyes. And this can be a life-saving command. You know, if she's in hot pursuit of a cat, headed out into traffic or something, you want a command that you can say very forcefully and she'll, and she'll um, stop whatever she's doing and look at you. So then I'll show you a little exercise that you can do to work on this. And remember, all I'm looking for is eye contact. Watch me. Yes. So you can take a food reward and get her attention with it. Um, and put it, watch me. And draw it out away from you. And then say, watch me. And um, you just want her to break her focus. Watch me. On whatever she's looking at and make eye contact with you. And you want her to be really snappy about it. So, anyway, she's doing really well with that and with all these things. Next, I'm going to go over the leash training. <clears throat> and the leash training, um, you know, obviously, along with the house training and the crate training, takes up by far the bulk of the time that goes into the, that goes into her training. Um, but as far as <laughs> girl. I'll show you what you want. Drop it. Good girl. Yes. Good. So you want this J in the leash. You can kind of see how it's a J. And there's two commands that she's learned. When you want to go, you say, let's go. And then when she pulls, you stop and say, easy, and wait for her to put this slack back in the leash. And there's two kinds of, there's two kinds of walks that I take the puppies on. If I want them, um, if I'm taking them on a four or five foot leash, a short leash, I want them to pay attention to me and go where I'm going. If I'm taking them out for a walk that's more for their enjoyment and their fun, I'll take them out either for an off leash walk um, or for on a long line, like a 15 or 20 foot leash. So let's go. Good girl. I want her paying attention to me, turning where I turn, going where I go, like that. And then when I stop, I want her to automatically sit. Just like that. Good girl. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, I just wanted to.